Lord has been banned on the streets of San Francisco. So we hit the streets of Los Angeles to find out why. It's totally clever. Did you hear about Lord songs being banned in San Francisco? Wait, what? Who's Lord? Is that a TV show? Is it a rock? Band? Is it a the New Zealand singer? And we'll never be royal. I hate that song. <laughs> Any idea why she's banned in San Francisco? They don't like Australians. Does she look Australian? -y? Not particularly, no. I don't know, did she say something controversial? Doing something weird? Is there like a specific place I'm supposed to be looking? She was just partying up with Taylor Swift too hard. The Taylords. The Taylords, oh I like it. Get naked? You think Lord got banned from San Francisco because she got naked? She's got a lot of hair, so maybe. She's too hairy to get naked? Well, actually, I don't know, San Francisco's pretty liberal, so I don't know why. Maybe she like did something really conservative. Oh. Like she kept her clothes on. I don't know if she said something like racial. Or did she say something against homosexuals? She's gonna miss out on some good coffee. They have some good coffee up there. Maybe she was too wound up already and yeah. she like does like that motion when she dances and they were like, no more coffee for you, you're out. Maybe she's just too intense. Her album is called Pure Heroin. She's in it. She's loaded. Like yeah. loaded or like... <laughs> The real reason is, you know the World Series is happening. Of course. San Francisco Giants are playing the Kansas City Royals. Lord yeah. has a song called Royals, so all the radio stations band uh, together and we're like, uh-uh, girl, not in our city. We're not playing this song because we love our team. You can't get inside our Giants' heads like that. That's a dumb reason. Why is that dumb? Because it's dumb. That's horrible. Okay, if this is true, it's ridiculous. That's not good sportsmanship either. I approve. I think this will help their chances. They're going to be very encouraged. Wouldn't it be great if the Royals won and then they just played that song really loud? <laughs> if you had to ban a song from your own life, what would it be? Royals. <laughs> The shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up. I heard it seven times on the radio yesterday. I just need to shake it off. You still feel like we need to ban that song after we just shook it off? You know that song, a little bit of Monica. I don't want any of those girls in my life. You want a little bit of Tracy and Totally Clever in your life? Mm, I'll pass. That one about fancy. That's Iggy Azalea. You should want a bad bitch like this. She's very pretty girl though. That's not what uh, Snoop Dogg thinks. You funky bitch. <laughs> What's that one like super high pitch? It's my party. I, I hate that song. What stations are you listening to? <laughs> That song is very avoidable. Older, crying is okay. I actually think it's really healthy. Do you feel like it's okay to cry alone in a bathtub with wine and pills? Definitely. De oh, pills. Let's, let's put the pills away. Okay. <laughs> put the pills away. Right, it seems like everything's going well for yeah. me then. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many annoying songs and nobody even mentioned Nickelback. Let me know what song you guys think is the most annoying in the comment section below. It's totally clever. Good episode, Tracy. Sorry I was sick and couldn't be there. It's okay, boo. If you missed me, click to the left for last week's episode about Tay Tay's new Out of the Woods song. And then click to the right to watch Kingsley talk about Iggy Azalea's meltdown with the paparazzi. I think I have Ebola. Ew, gross. <laughs> Please don't. Get stuck. Ew.